All right, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Today we're gonna head into the depths of Alamisa Urban and see what uh, what's in store for us. Probably gonna lead Bell and uh, Gladion here. Um, protect is good, and I can always amnesia. Oh, I need to put baton, baton pass back. I, I'm also considering like baton pass on uh, Bambi too, like if I need to, right? Um, go with uh, Amnesia a couple times, Bambi able to come in and work up, and then I can baton pass to anyone instead of just special attackers, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, the fact that there's no simple on Bambi makes it a bit harder, but whatever. So here we are, the depths of Alamisa Urban. And you will see, uh, there's someone up there. That's a Huey and a Huey. Just Huey. Reyna disappeared. Proceed forward. You will be unable to return for the, to this point for a period of time. If you have anything else to do in Sashila, if you want to explore the labyrinth, now's the time to turn back. Otherwise, step forward. Ryland, there has to be a better way. Stop. Someone's here. Reyna, Huey? Welcome. I was waiting for my guest to arrive. Who are you? How dare you sit upon that throne? Me, that's not very important. And FYI, I don't tether myself to the importance of material things. What did you do to my sister? I guess I could say that I did a little eh, in intercepting of fate. Put away the claws, kitty cat. They got a small dose of electricity. Step any closer and I'll do much worse. Step back and enjoy the show. So then, what do you want? Truth be told, I want a lot of things. It's not about what I want, though. Fate is a fickle thing. It's hard to predict and just where exactly it reaches. All of us in this room together right now. Surely that cannot be a coincidence. Uh-huh. Or perhaps it's a lot more intertwined than you think. Huh? You're in the way, Prince. I'll get to you in a moment. R Ryland! Now let's all just calm down. W what is this? I can imagine Thumbs is tired of being zapped here and there over and over again. But we're going on a trip with a mission of five. So buckle up, get comfortable, and let's hit the road. And... Uh... Oh, I accidentally skipped. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset that. Yes. So yeah, uh so there is Million Erin's investigation at the Blakery Anatheum. If this is your first time through, highly recommend playing through it, and I will. So several hours earlier. W what was that? An explosion that was strong enough to shake the floor. Incoming broadcast, please tune in. Attention Grand Dream City citizens. It is with my displeasure to announce that there has been a Code Red Level 4 in incident in the Judicial District. A criminal placed in confinement has escaped. Additionally, the Northwest Glass Dome Sector 2 has been breached. Until further notice, all events for the day have been cancelled, and all public facilities are under lockdown. Citizens are not allowed to leave or enter any facility, and we urge you to stay in your homes. All Access High students are re to return home in their dorms or until further notice. Thank you. A criminal escaped their confinement. You don't think? If anyone is escape able to escape GDC confinement, it's her. W what do we do? Well, we're locked in here because of the lockdown, so we continue our investigation. <sighs> Look, it's raining, we're stuck, and it's warm in here. So let's sit back, relax, and get the answers we came for, yeah? Right, right. We can do this. I should go look for thumbs. So yeah, we have a uh, Melia's Pokemon. Um, she now has her Mimikyu, uh, which is nice. One cool thing though, if you you can look at the dates of when these are caught, and that's actually pretty uh cool. But yeah, Diligence is caught in 1984, which is the past, obviously. Um, uh, let's put. Happy there, that's fine. 
So yeah, we can come up. Uh, we can look through a few things. Hello. So yeah, let's walk around, look for people. Lady Hazuki is here. Uh, I don't see thumbs anywhere. It's possible they left to do other things. That would be such a thumbs thing to do. It would be. Uh, hope they're okay. Maybe I should chat with Miss Hazuki? Yeah, you should. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and talk to Hazuki here. Uh, let's talk to you. Uh -huh. So yeah, same dialogue. Now, depending on the route that you took uh, when doing the Florin and Flora stuff, uh, how she, where she's sitting, and like where she is, and where, uh, yeah, where where she is, and how, um, what do you call it? And how she acts will be different. Uh, so if you chose the same route as me, she'll be down here. And uh, if you talk to her... Ah, Melia, please take a seat. So, <laughs> how have you been doing? Um, I've been alright, I suppose. A little shaken up by that explosion. And um, if you don't mind me asking, are those broadcast messages pre-recorded? <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Sat down in the studio and record about 300 different types of messages. <laughs> Maybe more. I hope this isn't rude, but have you been drinking? Ah, uh, yes, I suppose I've had a few drinks here and there. But it wasn't because of the lockdown. I've been drinking before that. Promise. I don't think that makes it better. Live a, live a little, child. Trust me. Alcohol is your best friend at my age. It's unbecoming of me to see me in this type of situation, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, no, not at all. Don't lie to me, child. I can see the concern in your eyes. But that's neither here nor there. Let's chat. So we can, uh, talk to her about a bunch of things. What are your duties? That is not duty. My job is, <laughs> is busy work at best. I'm sure most people would, that would be fulfilling work, I guess. Keeping the academics, uh... Sorry, what was I talking about again? I just remember I saw a student wearing an unauthorized piece of uniform and I got distracted. The qu question is probably not worth anyone's time anyway. Sure, sure. Uh, Grand Dream City? My husband's passion project. It's what... <laughs> oh, for the love of... Aren't you still on an ice queue? Who cares about this bloody city? Yes, I don't. Miss Hazuki, you can't say stuff like that aloud in public. Fuck the public. My lord. No, 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 it's okay, dear. I have tin here. Doesn't matter what I say. How oh, I say it, I can't get fired. And if I did get fired, that would be okay, too, because then this city would get fired. And it would be on fire. Would that be a sight to see? <laughs> so yeah, she is absolutely wasted. Um, Tell me about Thomas Blake, Yuri. My dear, why would you ever want to know about that man? Are things not going well with him? He doesn't look <laughs> at me the same way anymore. All because I'm, I'm ugly. <laughs> I, oh, the look on your face. I'm only kidding, dearie. I was the one who locked him out. He sleeps on the couch. Let me give you some advice, girl. Don't marry a man. I heard you loud and clear. So yeah, uh, how about Saki? Have you heard from her at all? Do you know that my granddaughter is the pride of the company? It's true. It's very true. I'm very proud of her. When I die and uh, turn to dust, I want <coughs> I want to thank you to take over the company. Marcius knows they should do a better job than any Blake Curie. Oh, um, I think you misunderstood me. I meant about how Saki is doing. Have you seen her recently? <coughs> oh, I don't feel well suddenly. Yeah, maybe you should stop drinking in public then. Uh, so we can do question mark, question, question mark, which means we can type some things uh, now. 
there's a few choices you can keep like you can do this a couple tries um yeah uh so we're gonna type I'm, i'll show you all the possible ones um so starting off with the people that we met in the past uh for example vivian why did you ask me about that i'm not so sure something really compelled me to ask don't ask again i'm sorry i didn't mean to bring a sour topic up no it's all right it's my fault i should have acted with more dec decorum but i don't wish to talk about th that name so yeah uh vivian's a sore spot as you can see um thomas blake blake your thomas jr Oh, sorry. I, it actually needs a dot behind it, I think. Yeah. Uh, Thomas Jr. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> my, my adopted grandson. A prodigy with technology and innovation with no p -p parents. I urge my daughter Yami to adopt him at a young age so that he would full, be fully dedicated to her company. Those two never got along. Such a shame for her. I should have adopted him myself. <laughs> yeah, me and I don't get along very much. Speaking of which, uh, can you tell me more about Ayame? Ah, Ayame. My sweet little Ayame. I think I pushed her away by trying to maximize her potential. I was never abusive to her, but she was a different kind of soul. We didn't speak for years at a time, probably for the <laughs> best. This probably were say that I wish I did things differently, but nope, I did what I could. No way to fix that. Let's chat. Um, all right, and lastly, Nimira. Child, where did you hear that name? Um, I read it in a book. Which book? I can't say I heard the name in an alternate Doom timeline. I'll get weird looks. I I don't know which one. It was one here in the library. Impossible. <laughs> All books in this library are approved by me. I would never have a book in here with her name. Why not? Because <laughs> because no one deserves to know her like we did. You're lying. I don't know where you heard the name, It was, but it wasn't here. Let's just talk about something else. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's all the different things you can type in that will get a reaction. Um, that'll be all. <laughs> Very well then, and enjoy lockdown. Guess I should go back and check on Erin. Yep, guess we should. We can also come up here, you know, talk to a few people here. We'll have to come up here in a, in a second. Um, hey Erin, looks like thumbs ran off before the lockdown. Not surprising. Um, Speaking of thumbs, actually, have you heard the word interceptor before? I haven't. Madamex mentioned Thumbs was one in that alternate timeline. Hmm. Maybe you should visit the computer lab then. It's upstairs. They have a vast database that you can search through. Check the middle of rows of computers. Sounds good. Alright, I uh, guess we'll look for stuff then. Time to find out what's logged. Madam X. Madam X, criminal leader, TV show, TV show personality, internet person persona, Madam Blissy, the war veteran. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh huh. Yep, there is uh, not much info. Let's try this again. Interceptor. One result: classified information. Just what are you doing? Gah! Oh, honestly, there is no need to scream so loudly, and there's no reason. To, and, and there's no reason to sneak up on people either. I've been standing here for at least five minutes. What do you want? I've been thinking about you for the past ten minutes. I've come to the conclusion that you and I would make the most efficient power couple the entire region has ever seen. Not romantically, of course. Money is always first. Business partners, if you will. Join me and help me dominate this world and our incredible amount of partnership and money. N no. Well, it was worth a try. I must say that you are turning down quite the oppor opportunity, though. I always try to give to the poor, but they're never willing to take. 
It's that disgusting pride they all have. It's holding them back. Just what are you doing on this computer? Let me see. Hey, that's none of your business. Just who the hell do you think you are? Oh my. Trying to get into a restricted article, I see. Trying to get kicked out. You're an amateur at this. Here, this is how you do things. I'll log into my account so that you can access the article. Wait, what? I said I'm logging in you into my account so that you can view the article. There, everything is finalized. Read to your heart's content. It really is unlocked. Yes, that is what I said I was doing. Can't you listen? I just don't understand why you would help me out. There are four things I value in this world. Money, my family name, my company, and intellect. When I found you, it looked like you were actually trying to learn something. That's far more than what other people can say when they walk in here. All they want to do is pass some exam and forget all that info. But you're different. Learning actually matters to you. You could say that trait of yours captivated me. So learn. Do what you must. H hey, what is it? You're a genuine asshole, but thanks. Hm, no problem at all. What was your name again? It's Melia. Right, Melia. I shall not forget it. What on earth is this feeling in my stomach? I feel weird. Is it because I help someone out? Oh dear. Lucille, this is Thomas. Schedule a doctor's appointment immediately. There's something very wrong with me. A mess. That's what he is. A mess, probably full of trauma, and a mess. Anyway, th there's no way. Is this true? What is going on here? I have to go tell Erin what I found. Hey, Erin. Uh, we found some information. You have a concerning look on you. What did you find out? So, okay. The term interceptor in this context comes from Garufan culture. The interceptor is someone who intercepts the phenomenon known as fate's passage. Fate's passage. I've heard about that before. It's the belief that everything in this world belongs to an already written destiny. Everything we do was already predestined. Correct, but the interceptor is one who lives outside that law. The one that intercepts fate's passage. But that's not all. According to the page I read, the interceptor is usually called upon by the universe when the world is in an immense danger. When this happens, the being is brought in to act as the judge of this world. There's sort of like a last-ditch effort. The interceptor has the ability to send the world into peace or destruction. Hmm. The page also explained that there are always usually weird phenomena surrounding the interceptor. They appear and disappear, as if they were just an apparition. When I read it, it reminded me of something that happened on Valor Mountain. Thumbs was thrown into a pit of lava. There was no way they could have survived it. But then out of nowhere, Thumbs appeared again as if nothing happened. Then again in an alternate timeline, Thumbs took the full blast of Melanie's attack. It should have obliterated them, but they appeared moments later without a single scratch. That also reminds me of something Elita told me. She said when Thumbs was with her in Karatos Mountain, they vanished. She couldn't find them no matter how hard she looked, and then one day they just up and appeared. I'm sorry, but there's a lot I have to think about. Go ahead and do more investigations in the main room. And one last thing. Yes, what is it? Do you trust Thumbs? With all my heart. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here right now. I see. Carry on. Guess it's back time. Guess it's back to investigating. So yeah, uh, she'll say something different, of course, if, you know, you have bad friendship with her. Oh, don't mind me, I've just been sorting out some books. Okay. So yeah, uh, she's just sorting out some books. That's fine. So we'll just look around and up here. Huh? This box hasn't always been here, has it? Please don't be a bomb. Okay, not a bomb. Uh, a note and two weird coins. Hidden beneath the floral and pink, the truth of the abyss lies within. Hidden beneath the what? Alright, uh, so right behind here. Uh, the puppet master, huh? Okay, sure. I'm ready. Gothitelle lead, um... Nice, that's an easy dark pulse on that. Sunflora comes out. Oh, I should have Sludge Bomb, actually. Oh well, it's fine. Tyrantrum comes out. Uh, 
Is it going to use a fairy, uh, dragon type move or uh, hmm. Either way, patience should be the one here. Oh, it's gonna earthquake. Oh, it's gonna dragon dance. That's not ideal. Oh, that's so much more damage than I was expecting. Um, do we have Aqua Jet? We do. Okay. Ooh. Alomomola. Yeah, we'll just stay in, I guess. It's fine. Oh, it's gonna toxic me. Sure, make your wish. Durant comes out. Nice, okay. Thank goodness I can go home now. Anyway, here's the truth. Bring the Nightmare Medallions to the library at midnight tonight. You mean the medallions to the library? These coins? Why midnight? I don't know, good luck with that. The library's closing tonight for some wild reason. We'll think of something, thanks. So yeah, um... That's a thing that's happening. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. All good, don't worry about it. Hey, you're here with that Erin girl, right? Hmm? Uh, I mean, yes, we- I am. We're working on something together. Oh, that's a relief. Erin finally found a friend. Uh, am I missing something? Erin's been sort of a regular guest here at the Athenaeum. Every day she'd walk in here, go up to those stairs and read, alone. It was really strange for me at the time. I asked myself, doesn't she have any friends? So one day I asked her if everything was okay. At first she tried to shoo me off, but I'm a persistent gal. Eventually she became annoyed to the point where she opened herself up to me. It turns out her peers bullied her to the point of depression. Hey Erin, why are you so smart? Only nerds are that smart. Who dresses you, your mother? Oh, careful Monica, I heard Erin doesn't have a mom, boo hoo. She doesn't have a dad either. Can you believe that? What a loser. And yeah, so bully stuff, of course. Ostracized from people, she turned to books. This place was a safe haven for her. I knew Erin seemed sort of introverted, but I never thought it was the result of bullying. She always had this hardened attitude, filled to the brink of confidence. In that regard, I was jealous of her. Sometimes all that can be a show, or perhaps that's just what her past turned herself into. I'm glad she found someone as nice as you. Thank you for telling me all this. No problem. Please look after her. I will. Alright. Well, hi, Erin. Hold on, I'm writing down theories in my notebook. Whatcha thinking? I'm not telling you. You'll just blatantly follow what I'm thinking and that's stupid. Plus, what I have is probably baseless conjecture. Now, about that thing we have to do that you mentioned before? Yeah, so we have to come back here at midnight with these coins. Um, but somehow the library is closing tonight. Yep, so we're gonna hide. Da 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 da. And now it's night time. Mm hmm. I assume you've had plenty of overnight stays before. Uh, so there's someone behind us. It's supposed to give you nightmares 100% of the time. They look for an opportunity for a better world in their view. Dreams are an aspirations or curiosities brought to a pseudo plane of existence. Those who are tired of this world yearn for a side where the grass is always greener. And in many cases, it is so. You must be the puppet master. No, he's a subordinate. Yep. What? I am his subordinate, yes. And you, Erin and Melia, have an appointment with him. Dream a dream so grand it becomes a nightmare. Hey, hey, are you with me or not? That voice, is it Erin? Come on, wake up already. It's bad enough I can't move. Huh? Where are we? Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know how we ended up here. Bet it had to do with that person in the pu in that puppet master garb at the library. Um, not to alarm you, but I can't move. Yeah, I said that already. It's just you, me, and that projector. Um, isn't that you? Well, wait, that's not me. I don't... She was... What did we just watch? The dreams of one long loss into the echoes of the void itself. But with hopes and dreams so long forgotten, a semblance remains. 
You like to say a lot of words that don't mean much sense without context. Daylight comes and thus we fade away. Your truth will be known soon. Where am I now? No way, this room. It's, hey, over here. You might want to take a look at this. So yeah, this is the gym room in the back. Hi, Aaron. I'm not sure we should be messing with this. That dream we had was way too weird. We've come this far, might as well finish. This box has a, has a couple things in it. There seems to be an envelope with a note and what seems to be two tickets. What does the note say? Your truths will be revealed in a blaze of glory at a dream, grand dream ball. Grand dream ball? It's just some event where they showcase plans for the city in the upcoming year and such. The only problem is that the ball happens pretty soon after our time at the tourney. Don't worry, with Happy we can get anywhere pretty fast. Oh, there's one last thing in the box. It's for you, Melia. For me? Yep, this file. It says Project Rapture on it. Does the name ring any bells? Can't say it does. Might as well check it out. Melia, are you doing okay? You're trembling. It can't be true. This has to be a lie. Hey, relax. If you yell, you might get us caught. Give me the file. Uh, let me take a look at it. Thank you. Project Raptor. Confidentially rank S. Jenner and Karina. Any information in this file should not be disclosed to any storm chaser beside Jenner and Karina. Project Rapture is the process of deceiving Melia into joining the Storm Chasers. Jenner shall be given the snack machine by blank. He is then to notify Team Zen of Melia's presence at Goldenwood Forest. So you use the arrow keys to go to the next page. Um, when this happens, Melia is to flee Goldenwood Forest and return to East Kirin Laboratory. Jenner will then send her to Route 2, where Spacey and Tiempa will appear before her. They will give her the offer. Karina's position is to distract any companions of Melia. Anyone who decides to aid her shall be thrown off the main path. We have entrusted the TM Rock Smash to her for this very reason. The following info should not be disclosed to Jenner. After Project Rapture is complete, eradication of Jenner's status shall proceed. More info shall be noted in the file Project Eradication. So Melio has been played this entire time. Project Raptor, confidentially rank S. The Storm Chasers are the group you were affiliated with, yes? I yeah. So they used the professor to get closer to you somehow, and once their plan was complete, they were going to get rid of him. Back on Terajuma, he told me there was something he wished to say to me, but that he couldn't. This is probably what he was referring to. In the end, though, he gave up his life to save yours. So do these documents really change anything? No, it just means my life was scripted from the moment I was born. And that people I thought I trusted were a part of it, Karina included. It happens. No use losing your mind over it, though. I have to wonder if this is the reason why Kristen went rogue. Let's not jump to conclusions. You know, it's funny how destiny works sometimes. My dad pushed me to become a gym leader, a role I was never able to fulfill, but... After all the betrayals, the threats of my life, I still ended up here. In the place that was supposed to be my gym. Huh? I thought this belonged to the Lavender Girl. It's supposed to be for me, but I guess Lavender got it after I wasn't able to attend. I always thought I'd be battling trainers here and just living my life. Is that something you still want? Well, that dream is kind of detached from my reality at this point. Sometimes I still wish it wasn't. It doesn't have to be a dream. Grand Dream City is a allegedly about making dreams come true. Let's make yours true, right here, right now. W what? Let's have a battle here in your gym. I'll be your very first opponent. Eren. Let's do this before I change my mind. So yeah, Eren's gonna be battling with us. Uh, now listen, I'm not a trainer. Don't expect some impressive fight on my part. All that matters is that you're here and willing to do this. That's all I could ever ask for. Yeah, yeah, on guard and all that. I forgot to switch on my team, but that's okay. She leads with a Butterfree, which, again, level 75. Um, good news is, yeah, it's not going to be using any uh, bug-type moves. So Floor just comes out, we're gonna Sludge Bomb this. Ooh, that actually tanked it really well. Um, hmm...
Gilded Arrow is really, really good. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go to Peace here. I think we're going to play... Oh, it's faster than me. Probably should have deluged. Uh, okay, Aqua Jet should KO though. Good. Zangoose comes out. It's crested, so it's automatically poisoned. I'm going to go to Diligence here. Yep, there we go. I'm going to Sword Stance. Night Slash is going to bust my disguise. Nice, okay. Swana comes out. Uh, I should be faster. Oh, it's faster. I should have Shadow Sneaked. Oh well. Um, hmm. Okay, Unity. Uh, Gilded Arrow is Dragon type for you. I'm gonna. Gilded Arrow. That's oh, it has Ice Beam. Good crit. Ampharos, uh, Flash Cannon should be a... Oh wow, that did not do as much as I was hoping. Oh, Thunder Wave missed, thank goodness. Okay, it's gonna try again. It's gonna miss again. That is really unfortunate. Um, hello there. Okay, that should be fine now. Happy should fi be able to finish it off here. D-Gleam, nice. That was the expected outcome, but I had fun. What's important is that we had fun. Isn't that what people say after they lose or something? It sure is. I don't think battling will ever be for me, but I will admit, I did have some fun in that fight. Thanks, Erin. I just... I don't have many opportunities to feel this way, so whenever I do, I don't know how to act. I don't understand. I've never had real friends, I've never had real parents. Never had a real life of my own, I just did the same routine over and over. All that changed when Aelita appeared. Suddenly it feels like I'm finally a part of something. Something that gives my life some sort of worth and meaning. I just want to say that I appreciate you all. You, Huey, Lavender, Thumbs, Aelita, Cannon, Venom. Everyone that's been with me so far. Thank you for breaking me out of my own prison. We'd be there to break you out no matter what. Because you're part of our group now, our family. We have to look after each other. Because when we're out there fighting evil, there won't be anyone but us. Y yeah, you're right. Thank you, Melia. And now, uh, just a sudden burst. And we're here now. These guys. Evildoers. My bastion won't crumble. Damn, this lady doesn't give up. We haven't been able to hit her at all. Hey, using a shield is totally cheating. Cheating? You child. Prepare to learn justice! We're gonna need to break that shield or we're gonna get nowhere. Let's do a null out attack and smash it. Then Reyna Hnui will attack. Even if it just slows her down a little, we'll win. Go! You guys are really being so mean! That backfired. Okay, so I think I broke a bone. Ow. What do we do now? There's nothing to be done. Be brave and reap what you've sown. Stop. Hazuki, don't hurt them. Lady Anju, I told you to wait on the ship. It's not safe out here. I couldn't help myself, and besides, if I hadn't, you would have sliced my friend into a million pieces. F friend? But... So yeah, flashback. You there, what business do you have falling out of the sky like that? Nice get up, Tinker Tot. What have you got brewing for me today? You don't answer my question, answer or face justice. You of all people lack the understanding of true justice. Just as corrupt as the people before and after you. Ha! Huh. Not bad, Tinker Tot. I'll have my subordinates take care of you next. I'll have a prince deli to deliver in another time. We've been thrown here wherever this be by that same guy. We are not friends with that guy. Nope. Lady Anju, forgive me. I will atone for my sins with my life. Enough of the dramatic, Suzuki. You are not beneath me. And it is them that you need to apologize to. I apologize. I did not mean to harm anyone innocent. It's fine. It... Yeah, you know what? It's fine. Whatever. Can someone explain where we are right now? We're in the past. Ren, we're in the past. Uh, time travel is a thing. Welcome to the weird and wonderful world of Pokemon Rejuvenation. How do we get back home? 
I suppose you could have returned the same way Thumbs did last time. But the way to Kugirin City is closed off due to rock slides. The region has been quite unstable as of late. For that reason, our lady Miria has summoned both Hazuki and I. If anyone can get you four back home, it's her. Okay, so where's this Nimira chick? She's not just some chick. She is our lady. She resides in Hiyoshi City, just north of here. I've decided then, let's bring our new friends to our lady. It's not far, and in these times, we could all use a shoulder to lean on. Very well. Single file line, thumbs to the front. Uh, why am I to the front? Why am I in the front? <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, so yeah, um, that's where I'm gonna end it. Let me get into a good position here. Yeah, okay. That's where I'm gonna end it. Um, I have to go do something, so... This is a good point to end it. We'll go through this route next time and visit Nimira. I'll see you guys then.